Aaron, great to have you with us. And let's be clear, these bots that you're, you're studying, these are bots on Twitter. So are you finding that this activity in bots, is it coincident with unusual trading activity or is it predictive? I'm listening, Tyler. Thanks for having me on the show. So we are finding when we're analyzing uh, this, and we prefer to call it unauthentic social media behavior. It's kind of a longer name, but there's a there's a range of unauthentic behavior. Bots is kind of at the worst or more automated end of that. Sock puppet accounts, single people that are operating large numbers of accounts, and we are seeing this fluctuation that is matching what what definitely appears to match a lot of these stocks that are being pushed. Uh, in uh, the Reddit subreddits. I guess what I'm asking, though, Aaron, is if you take a look at, at this unusual, um, I don't know what you want to call it. If there's, I wish there was an acronym for what you just said. Right. <laughs> but, but in terms of, you know, fake users, let's say, because that seems to encompass a, a lot of it. Um, is there an increase in activity that, that is useful when you look at it in terms of it being predictive of unusual stock training activity, or is it simply coincident? Uh, I'm... I and, and of course PyQ are not financial experts, but when we're experts, but when we're looking at uh, these spikes in say Rocket or GME or AMC, they certainly seem to be correlated to, you know, the strong trading volumes as well as the prices of the stock for the day. I guess I'm trying to get at whether or not this is useful. <laughs> it's not really <laughs> useful to me after the fact, after I see GameStop go to the moon, Aaron. <laughs> if then sure. I look back and see that there's been all this uh, fake social media uh, activity that coincides with that spike. But if, if you can tell me that it's predictive, then I say, you know what, that data from PiQ or, or me taking a look at this, that's really useful in how I trade. Uh, that's a good point. Well, take Rocket last night as an example where you saw large conversations large spikes across um, all of the social media platforms related to Rocket. And certainly that was reflected in both the volumes and the stock price yesterday in the market. So, so yesterday, take me through the timeline there again. Yesterday was the day Rocket did this. Today, Rocket is doing that. Was there a, a similar uh, tide of, of commentary on those sites both days, one that was positive and one that was negative or questioning? That's that's a good question, Tyler. We, I, we haven't looked at the rocket data for today, mm -hmm. um, uh, but when we've looked at previous, the GME and AMC and some of the other uh, volumes of activity and the, and, you know, we want to make sure to point out that what we're trying to identify as a company, since we're a threat and risk analytics company, is trying to measure uh, these uh, conversations and how they compare and contrast to what we consider more organic or natural conversations. And what we're seeing related to some of the Reddit uh, uh, related stocks is we're seeing very uh, unnatural uh, patterns in that activity across most of the major social media platforms. As you pointed out, we don't as a company yet analyze Reddit data, although that may be mm -hmm. in our future. But in terms, Aaron, just the last question here, in terms of risk analytics, are you saying to companies that this is a risk, that there could be large armies of bots or, or, or fake social media activity that could influence your stock price and therefore your ability to tap and access capital markets? It's certainly possible. I mean, the, the, act, the accessibility of uh, these uh, bots or, or fake accounts, uh, fake activity, you can buy engagements, you can buy upvotes, you can buy fake accounts today, and you could buy them in large quantities. Now, depending on how you're utilizing those, those could be both a help or a harm to your particular company and your stock price. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.